Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and yeah, we um, have a couple of reports of problems with the latest Patch Tuesday in Windows updates. So, Patch Tuesday happened this week, and for the most part, it's rolling out okay to almost everybody, but there's a few out there that have problems. One of the reported issues is that your start menu doesn't work anymore. So you click on the start button and it gives you an error that says, um, you know, you can't start the start menu. We'll try to fix the issue at the next restart of your PC. And of course, you got no access to that. A other problem that some seem to have with games is low audio. So um, on that part, uh, some people have said that by disabling the uh, effects, uh, it actually works better so I don't know um, whatever happens if you have issues and like that start menu problem uh, and Microsoft did by the way acknowledge today the start menu problem go to uh, simply you know you need to go to your settings and you got to go to the um, update and security you gotta go to update history and here on the upper left corner you'll see uninstall updates the update you need to uninstall to fix the problem is KB4515384 that's the one you need to uninstall you don't need to touch the other ones that will apparently uh, fix the start menu problem uh, what's nice is it doesn't remove the security update so you stay safe it just really removes that update in particular that actually causes the issue in the start menu. Once that is done, um, I think this happens actually will show up as a optional update, but if it doesn't and it wants to try to force itself, simply go to your settings, uh, update and security once again, in here, in the advanced options, you'll have the possibility to pause updates for a certain time, so you can let it pause the updates if you want until next patch Tuesday. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, that problem will be fixed. But it uh, seems that some of you are having issues. Uh, you know, the past two updates, the August 30th update and this one, seem to be uh, causing problems. Uh, by the way, it is only for the May 2019 update that these problems actually happen. And once again, it's only a small percentage of all of you out there that are having issues with this. So uh, that probably um, doesn't affect most of you. But if you do have that problem, check it out and remove the update uh, to fix the issue. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.